Welcome to today's lesson on the advantages and disadvantages of sexual and asexual reproduction. Understanding these aspects will help us explore how different organisms have adapted various reproductive strategies to suit their environments. In today's lesson, we will compare and contrast sexual and asexual reproduction, focusing on the benefits and drawbacks of each method before comparing the two. By the end of the lesson, you should have a clear understanding of why some organisms might prefer one method over the other, and how these reproductive strategies impact biodiversity and survival. So far, you have learned what sexual and asexual reproduction are, including the basic processes involved in each. Sexual reproduction involves the fusion of gametes from two parents, leading to genetic variation, while asexual reproduction involves a single parent producing offspring genetically identical to itself. This foundational knowledge allows us to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of both methods. By understanding these concepts, we gain insight into how organisms adapt to their environments and evolve over time. This understanding is pivotal in biology, as it helps explain the incredible diversity of life forms and their varying reproductive strategies. Let's look at the advantages of sexual reproduction. One advantage is increased genetic variation. Sexual reproduction involves combining genes from two parents, which creates genetic variation in the offspring. This variation can be beneficial as it may lead to individuals with new and advantageous traits. Another benefit is survival advantage. This genetic variation helps populations survive changes in the environment. For example, if a disease affects a population, some individuals may have genetic traits that allow them to survive and reproduce, while others may not. This process of better adapted individuals surviving and reproducing is known as natural selection, which we will talk about in more detail in a later lesson. It also has practical use in selective breeding. Humans utilize the sexual reproductive process through selective breeding to produce animals and plants with specific traits. This method is commonly used in agriculture and animal husbandry. Disadvantages include the energy and time required. Sexual reproduction requires finding a mate, which consumes time and energy. Organisms must also invest energy in courtship behaviours and mating processes. For individuals that are isolated from others of their species, finding a mate can be challenging, making reproduction difficult. Furthermore, generally, sexual reproduction is slower compared to asexual reproduction. Producing and raising offspring takes the time which can be a disadvantage in rapidly changing environments or situations where rapid population growth is beneficial. Now let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of asexual reproduction. Starting with the advantages, only one parent is needed for asexual reproduction, which simplifies the reproduction process and saves time and energy. Furthermore, asexual reproduction allows for quick multiplication of the population which can be advantageous in stable and favorable conditions where resources are abundant. Finally, as it does not require energy to find a mate, coordinate mating, or engage in courtship behaviors, asexual reproduction is more energy efficient. Moving on to the disadvantages, since offspring are genetically identical to the parent, there is little to no genetic variation. This uniformity can be a disadvantage in changing environments. Additionally, Populations produced through asexual reproduction may only thrive in specific environments. If conditions change, the entire population may struggle to survive. A lack of genetic diversity also means that if a disease affects one individual, it can easily affect the entire population, potentially leading to widespread death. Let's compare and summarize the two. Understanding the advantages and disadvantages of sexual and asexual reproduction informs us about the balance between genetic diversity and reproductive efficiency. It also highlights how different organisms have adapted their reproductive strategies to best suit their environments. Sexual reproduction prioritizes genetic diversity, providing a survival advantage in changing conditions and enabling selective breeding. In contrast, asexual reproduction emphasizes efficiency and speed, allowing rapid population growth, but at the cost of genetic variation. Each reproductive strategy has evolved to meet the specific needs and environmental challenges faced by different species. Let's put this knowledge into practice and look at a question. 
Compare the genetic variation produced by sexual and asexual reproduction, using bacteria and humans as examples. Pause here to have a go. Now let's go through the answer. For sexual reproduction in humans, each individual has a unique combination of genes due to the mix of parental DNA, which leads to high genetic variation. This genetic diversity allows for greater adaptability to changing environments and different selective pressures. For asexual reproduction in bacteria, offspring are genetic clones of the parent, resulting in very low genetic variation. While this allows bacteria to reproduce extremely rapidly, it also means that a single environmental threat, like an antibiotic, can potentially wipe out an entire population due to the lack of genetic diversity. In today's lesson, we explore the advantages and disadvantages of sexual and asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction, involving two parents, creates genetically diverse offspring, which enhances a species' ability to adapt and resist diseases. However, it requires more time, energy, and a mate, resulting in slower reproduction. Asexual reproduction, involving a single parent, is efficient and allows for rapid population growth, ideal in stable environments. Its main drawback is the lack of genetic diversity, making populations more vulnerable to diseases and environmental changes. Understanding these reproductive strategies is key to grasping concepts like inheritance, variation, and evolution.